Hello, welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here. Now in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Rangers vs Celtic All Firm uh, League Cup Final tomorrow at Hamden. 3pm uh, kickoff uh, BT Sport. Uh, just before I start the video I just wanted to, to talk a little bit about Gerard's new contract. If you haven't heard already, he's signed a new contract to Rangers and he'll be here until 2024. Uh, which is great news. I heard someone saying, oh that's great because if he doesn't win any trophies then he's... He's going to eventually get sacked and I'll, we'll have to pay him compensation. Uh, I think that's a stupid way to look at it. Uh, I don't think that is the case anyway. I don't think he's going to get sacked. Uh, even if he doesn't win a trophy this season, I don't think he will get sacked as long as he kind of pushes Celtic as much as he possibly can and hopefully try and get to at least the Scottish Cup final as well. Then I can't see that happening anyway. Uh, I just thought it was a stupid comment for, for the guy to say. I think it was on Facebook or something. I'd, I'd seen that. I just thought it was stupid. And another thing as well, if uh, a big club was to come in for Gerard, I think I like Liverpool or something in the next two years or two or three years, it means we've got uh, that backup of the, the security of the, they'd have to pay compensation to get him out of his contract and that can only be a good thing. Uh, so I just wanted to quickly touch on that and I'll get straight into the, the video now. So yeah, as I said, Rangers Celtic uh, in the cup final, it's going to be a really, really interesting game. If you look at the form of the two teams, Rangers got that disappointing draw in midweek against Aberdeen, but still not a defeat. Uh, we, we beat Hearts at uh, Ibrox. We also drew with Feyenoord 2-2. Look at Celtics, they just beat Hamilton 2-1, uh, albeit it was a, a very late goal to win that game. Uh, they beat Ross County fairly comfortably away from home 4-1, and they won at Rennes uh, in the Europa League. Uh, so good form for both teams, uh, Celtic haven't lost since the 6th of October, Rangers haven't lost since the 3rd of October, that was a, a defeat to uh, young boys in the Europa League, our only other defeat this season was to Celtic which is disappointing to say, uh, but we're really on good form, both teams going into this one, it's, uh, I can't really decide who is the better team going into this, probably Celtic are going to be up for it more because uh, obviously Rangers dropped points in midweek there and now Celtic have uh, opened up a two point gap in the league which obviously is this point for us uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a debate of who will start up front for Rangers obviously Defoe started the last one and to be fair he didn't really get many opportunities to score and then you've got Morelos who's on some amazing form right now but he's got this one thing that he's, he's no scored against Celtic uh, I believe he will score and I'll talk about my wee prediction later on in the video but He's got to break his duck some sometime. It's got to happen. And when is a better occasion to do it than than in a final against Celtic? It'd be great to see. And it'd show up a lot of critics. I know Chris Sutton brings up a lot. And uh, we really don't want to be listening to what Chris Sutton says. He's obviously he's got major issues with Rangers. Major beef with us. Uh, he was slitting Tavernier saying he's not got the mental bottle to... To win this competition, he's always going to be a loser. I just thought that was just poor for him. He's supposed to be a little bit unbiased and a little bit uh, diplomatic, but he's, he's just shown his true colours there. So he didn't really listen to what Chris Sutton has to say. Uh, time for my prediction is, this is a real hard one because, obviously, as I said, the, the two teams are really on form and there's very, very little se uh, separating them. Uh, I'm going to go for a Rangers win. I'm going to keep it hopeful for the channel. I'm going to go for a 2-1. Uh, I believe our defence is a little bit shaky just now and Celtic are the type of team who can score goals so I'd imagine they will score at least once but we have to uh, show the mental toughness uh, to score again. So I'm going to go for 2-1. I'm going to go for Morelos and Ryan Kent. Ryan Kent has obviously got form. He scored in the, the last game at Parkhead last season and uh, He's always a danger to, to Celtic. Uh, he's very, very direct, obviously, as we know. So that's my prediction. If you want to put yours down in the comments section below. Uh, I'm sure Celtic fans will be on, on this channel as well. So hello to the Celtic fans. Hello. Uh, I know they'll be on here if we get beat. That's just something Celtic fans do. Normally, if I was to win an old firm game, I'd go out and celebrate. Or I'd, uh, I'd be in a house having a drink or something. First thing Celtic fans do is go online and uh, look for Rangers related things to, to have a look at and have a laugh at. It's not for me, it's a weird thing today, but each to their own Celtic fans. Uh, 
So I'm just going to wrap this video up guys, thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. Uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe, hope you've enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy other videos from myself. It's mainly the same thing, giving you a prediction and I'll come back with a reaction after the game as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.